let's have a look at our study techniques. How do we study for it? So firstly, read your text, very important. Um, gain an understanding of the plot, you know, develop your own understanding of um, and your own opinion on the text. What is it about? Is it any good? Record key themes and how they differ between text and use study gates to get through it. So, you know, um, you're allowed to use like maybe Shakespeare, you know, um, or you can definitely like I know a lot of Shakespeare plays you can watch on YouTube as you're reading the, the text. That always helps. Um, it's not always easy to understand the language that's all good um i've got eight notes text guide here i'll be talking about it in a minute and you can find the text guides they're obviously visible copies physical copies that are available too um but using study aids can really help okay in class organize your quotes into a quote technique fact table these are your notes i've seen lots of questions about making notes best way to make notes for english is to sort out your quotes just sort out you know what you'll be talking about in the essay and that can be done through using a quote technique effect table. So that's your QTE table. Um, record statements of the nature of intersexuality and the value of comparing. You know, um, you want to be able to consciously link back to you know the idea of intersexuality between the two texts and compare why it's happening. That's your moral purpose here. And continue identifying uh, themes that could form the basis of your paragraphs. You know, you don't have to stick to the three themes you've chosen at the beginning of the term for your HSC. You can, if it's absolutely, you've written a smashing essay, you love those themes, they, they encapsulate everything you need, absolutely. But, you know, you are allowed to change them um, until, you know, le days leading up to the HSC. Obviously, don't change it on the day as you're writing the text. But uh, as you're writing the essay, but what I mean is you're able to make changes to it. So you constantly want to be thinking, how do I make changes? How do I how do I make it better? Okay, at home, study. Oh, I was gonna say study. No, study. So yes, you do study at home, but it can be done in different ways. So contextual research. Um, Context can make studying Mode so much more interesting. Like a little example from Richard the Third is, um, and you know, if you are doing the Richard the Third, we have a Richard the Third lecture on tomorrow. Um, I'll be doing the Richard the Third lecture too, but a little sneak peek into that, like it's a propaganda display. So once you get into like, you go down the rabbit hole of its history and be like, okay, Richard actually in history, like wasn't that terrible a man and Shakespeare just made it to please his queen who um who is the granddaughter of the guy who defeated Richard then it's quite interesting to think of it that way but contextual research can make it so much more fun reflection on the purpose of each composer and what has influenced them again that's you know linking back to purpose it gives you a lot more to talk about too um and you know, in the essays, obviously there's a point where you have to you have to focus on the analysis and the context and the purpose, and you can't talk endlessly about each. But having a greater understanding of the composer's purpose and linking that back to context can definitely elevate your analysis. Um, nearer to the end of the term, essay plans and writing that first essay, you want to be able to have the time to think through that first essay um, and to really plan it out. So that's where. So studying for it in advance and having your quotes, having um, your notes ready for it can be helpful. Um, I've got a range of pictures here. Tables can always work, you know, in terms of making notes. Tables are always helpful, um, especially with the quote technique analysis stuff. Mind maps are great when you're talking about context and purpose. When you're first, you know, putting your ideas together, mind maps um, are a great way to sort of do that. Like I personally make mind maps of the syllabus um, and link that back to like the concepts in the text. Um, when I was preparing for the HSE for like 1984, I didn't get time to do that for what I had did the quote table effect thing, but that was something that I'd like to do for um, for common mod. Then we've got all, oh, yeah, in general, and then we've got, you know, just normally simply writing notes, like you're allowed to do that too, that works for you. Um, a range of different things works for a range of different peoples, so don't worry about it at all. Cool. So